Just ne just never close Necker Dancer. That's the answer. <laughs> Always have it running. All right, they're in there. Big hit for Kalari already. Yeah, we're gonna reset. That's just fine. It's correct play too. It's close enough to do it. Nothing really going on this one one. Just headed straight down to one two. There's a mimic chest here. They can have pretty much anything. It's ham. <laughs> one bomb. <laughs> Kalaria found the chest on uh, one one, and it was a, a singular bomb in it. Very good. The seed's already kicking it. <laughs> Autoclave's taking out this dragon with the safe vertical attack pattern. And trap dooring down to 1 3 while Kalaria continues through 1 2. Finds the cracked wall. I'm not sure if Autoclave saw that or not, but we'll see what that is. Also checking the shop here. Might bring the dragon over to get some of these items. Uh, staff, armor, and a ring. A scooty ring. Another bomb for autoclaves from that bomb trap. And here's the dragon getting a shot in on Freddy. So now Freddy is in fear mode. Larry just has to take down the dragon, and then shush him out of there. All them items will be free. Autoclave's taking a hit from a black skeleton there, trying to get this Minotaur out of that boss room. Down to one heart. And looks like Kalari is not going to check that cracked wall. Autoclaves into your zone one boss first. It's going to be death metal. Good bomb there. And dagger throw? Nope. I'm going to walk over and do it. I'll stare into death metal's eyes. I stab you with this dagger. And then <laughs> getting a uh, glass cat. And some more shopping for Galaria is going to find heavy plate. Uh, could kill for it. I'd recommend killing for it. But gonna leave it there. On the backpack. Torch. There's the kill for Kalaria in the heavy plate. And you can see the stark difference in builds right now. Autoclaves may be uh, a zone ahead, but only with the glass cat. Well, Kalari is building a uh, a run here to last. Looks like there's a potion on two, three, potentially. Autoclaves has plenty of bombs to get into that tier three wall. There's also a lock shop. We could fill out some of the build with that. And some strength boots as well. Oh, fair and balanced! <laughs> that white ambush from uh, the locked shop. Unfortunate death there for autoclaves. That could have happened to anyone. Claws victory for Kalaria. Gonna go for that glass cat. A little uh, concerning with the glass, but we can handle it, it's just fine. Four damage works really well. Plus that courage. And using it really well to navigate through these enemies. We'll be headed down to 2-3 relatively soon here. Or we'll be looking all over, the, all over the level. Looks like we're head down now. Autoclave's making it back down to 1 3, though. Yeah, Kalaria won't need to check the shop. Because Freddy's dead. 
could go for... Wait. We just courage onto them spike traps? Off of a bounce trap? That was cool. Into core riff, your zone two boss. And courage is a bit awkward in this fight, but having the cat for it makes it a bit more manageable. <laughs> Please never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was looking for the glass shard on the ground. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> Couraged. Sticking with the glass. Didn't go for a weapon. Checked the purple chest and got a, a gold ring. Auto Clay's back into that zone one boss. See if we can get that bomb on him again. Looks like set up for it. Well done. Yeah, Voskalaria, I would consider taking that Tron Rhythm, but I take it quite a lot, so I'm used to it, but I can understand not taking it. Auto Plays did collect that heavy plate in zone one. And is pushing back through zone two. Oh, the gi! The hot coals broke everything! Oh no. Well, still two damage. It's not terrible. Two damage courage with heavy plate. You can still rock that. And uh, Autoclave is pushing back here. Isn't a two three. Looks like they want to complete the stage, not head down the trapdoors. Yeah, probably protecting that glass. Nice food shop for Kalaria. Good thing we had a, a glass shard to throw at the shopkeeper. I suppose we would have had bombs, but... <laughs> Save the bomb. We'll see if Autoclaves goes for the black chest after this coral rift fight. Don't have a ring yet, but getting off glass seems like a good idea before zone three. There's a titanium flail for Kalari. It's oh, it's the mop. Flail plus courage. I haven't seen a mop in a hot second. This used to be it. the speedrunning build. And Autoclave switched off to the titanium spear in that black chest, so three damage on that now. Pretty solid. Team Blues, your zone three boss. Kalari gonna mop it up. This chess game's over. We gotta clean it up, put the pieces away. It's the flaws victory. And I imagine checking purple again. Yeah, there's a pulse spell for you. Autoclave's just two, zone, uh, two levels behind still be within striking distance. Needs to prioritize exiting the levels now, though. Because Kalaria will be pushing pretty fast through zone four. <laughs> I thought they were going to leave the ham there. That would have been terrible. Nice clear on that 4-1 exit. There's a trapdoor for all claves, taking it down into your zone three boss. Dealing with the mosh pit first. You got a pulse spell, Kalaria, use it. <laughs> this blade master, okay. Into the arena dough. Oh, phasing dagger. Courage phasing? <laughs> Gonna take uh, the health spell though. Make sure we get this round done. It's a good uh, survivability play. But Autoclaves is in the zone four. Checking for that pulse spell yet. Yeah. Oh no, Kalari missed the pulse. <laughs> Unfortunate. But is making it through four two on to four three. And 
Autoclaves is starting to uh, nip at the heels. A lot of Blade Master problems so far for both racers. Food is not a problem, though. We've seen a lot of food throughout this race. So much food, we can't decide what we want. All right, all clays in the 4-2. Yeah, Kalari getting uh, stonewalled by another Blade Master. There's a good pulse, and you knock the fairy back. Well done. Into King Konga, your zone four boss. Uh, we could Earth, or uh, <laughs> we could Azuma, or just mop up the Conga line. Looks like we're just gonna mop up the Conga line. Works well enough. It's relatively safe, actually. And gonna get the flawless victory into zone five. Only two bombs, though. Be looking for another bomb before uh, the boss fight. The uh, Necker Dancer fight. Snowbro adding to Claria's build. Yeah, you got cheese, you got a drumstick, there's cookies. So many, so much food on that 4-3. Like Kalaria is stepping on the gas now, headed straight towards the exit. Claim this first loot. Autoclave is about to wrap up 4 3. And, uh, looks like they're getting pushed back here in this conga fight. But here's your first dead ringer from Kalaria. It's a left side spawn. Let's see how we handle this. Uh, looks like we're trying to do flail lures, but got swarmed. Yeah, there you go. There's a good flail lure. We can just let him honk that bell and stand up by the gong and uh, flail him to infinity. Uh oh, there we are. <laughs> we figured it out. All the clay's taking a few hits here. Still has the ham in tow though. I head down to five two. And yeah, looks like Kalari is gonna have to do some button puzzles here. I think just two, though, if they have two bombs. It looks like they might be setting up for that. Yep, you want to do the two bombs on the stage. Dad wouldn't clubbing, though. Let's make sure we keep him alive. Autoclaves is on the 5-3. Ate that ham. Was that half a heart for a moment? Half health for Kalari on that Necker Dancer. And we might see a dead ringer from Autoclaves yet. But here's the last hit on the Necker Dancer for Kalari. Getting tall sprited by that Black Skeleton. Ooh, Oblivion Strat from Autoclaves. Got caught by a rider, fortunately. But GG's to Kalaria in that first loot of the match. 14-13 race time. And it was just a very unfortunate death for Autoclaves here. Thought they were going to get a really nice uh, lock shop here, but then uh, Farron Balance was blocked by the heart. The heart was covering it up. Could have saw it a beat earlier. Can I get rid of your heart overlay? <laughs> I 
All right, we got two more races out of this match from Autoclaves and Kalaria. It's probably curtains for Autoclaves in terms of uh, getting into the finals, but Kalari can still have a good chance at it if they win out here. I haven't looked at the standings, but it's usually uh, five points is what you're looking for. Oh, four and five is likely a tiebreak? Oh, well. Then Autoclave still has a chance. Gotta do a win. Should always gotta do a win, though. Three people going eight and one, no strange things. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. is another good song. Revive did a very good job. So he's in. Alright. Countdown's on. Get this next race going. My problem with Necker Dancer remixes though is they're not great for playing in the game. Because you, you don't you, you listen to like the first 30 seconds of the song and then you move on to the next level Like I want to hear the music though I'm Just dancing through it Early stack of bombs for both racers on 1-1 one, one. And nothing much else just a bunch of bats Autoclave is going to check the shop on one, two. It's free. That fear scroll makes it free. They're going to pass on it. We'll see what Kalaria does. Yeah, they see the fear scroll. It's a miner's cap and whatever's in this purple chest. Ring of War, it's not bad. Clave's cleaning up this Minotaur. I don't think we saw the blood shop on 1-1 one, one or 1-2, one, unless it's in the boss room here. It's not. Looks like Autoclaves is going to go back to the shop or looking for the chest here. Bizarre charm. Yeah, going to go back to the sh... Uh, maybe looking for... The what are we doing? Looking for the blood shop? Well, there's the shop. Now they'll do the fierce scroll. Or just buy it. Okay. <laughs> I think they realized that the fear scroll would have worked. Halfway through that. Oh, Leprechaun getting away from Kalaria. Oh, got a trap, though. Blood Whip on 1 3. I mean, War Whip's not terrible. You knock back all the enemies. Keep your space. Hey, another war, uh, ring of war. That Shrine of War. And there's a crack wall over yonder on 1 3 as well. Ooh, Ring of Pain. I think I take that over war. Let's see what Auclaves decides to do. Yeah, it's gonna get it. And then check this crack wall. We'll see what Kalaria does here, too. To transmute over at the cracked wall, go for a shovel. Oh, went for a weapon, got oh obsidian staff. That's a good roll. That's heckin' rig though, cause autoclaves is condor staff. They always get the staff when they conjure or transmute. 
<laughs> I really like Autoclave's build. And Kalaria went for the shovel and got a uh, Courage shovel, so pretty good. Flawless victory for Autoclaves on uh, Kanga, your zone one boss. Kalaria just getting into it, and Pulse Tomes in the purple chest. Kalaria's gonna go for uh, the black chest, though. They need a weapon. A yeah, titanium spear, so three damage. Not bad. And with Monocle, you kind of get some pseudo mapping. Oh, there's a base axe there. Yeah, we picked that up with War. Both these builds are comparable. Even better axe in the shop here. So three damage axe for Kalaria. I think it's it might be Kalaria's advantage now. Looks like Autoclaves is gonna go back for, to the shop. But the pain staff, though, it's a fun build. Does Alclaves have enough money? Sure doesn't. Goodbye, Doust. We killing you? Or are we farming? It's like we're farming. Blast Helm for Kalaria on 2-2. Two, two. Pretty mediocre shop. Mediocre. Autoclaves did collect that Titanium Max, and I'll be heading over to 2-2, which Kalari is almost done with now. Looking for that boss. There it is. Doing some rolling on this uh, Chance Shrine here. You'll always win on the Chance Shrine if you have a Luck Charm. And there's a there's the staff for Claria. I'm gonna leave it there. And on to Deep Blues, your zone two boss. Just straight up the side here he gets the flawless victory. Attack around that queen. Oh, not even checking the chests, just going. Claria looking to uh, extend this lead. Not a great shop on 2-3. Yeah, scroll of need. I would need it for a torch. It's there. Need it for a torch or armor. I mean, there's a chance you get gi, but... Eh. I think you get torch before armor, don't you? They have it in Cadence of Hyrule, where, you know, the, the order of items goes like, what, shovel, weapon... Torch, boots, ring, or something. Uh, if you do a, a need scroll in that, it fills the first empty one, I think. Which makes it easy to remember. Or I'm making that up. I don't know. It seems like <laughs> a good way to go about it. Shriner for Kalaria. There's Boss Shrine in there. You're going to pass on it. Speaking of Boss, that Minotaur coming up. And uh, we'll head into this trap door. I'm just going to the exit. Yeah, it's right there. Into Coral Rift. Has the throwing stars for it, so I can get into phase two relatively quick. Very good. And gets a flawless victory. Autoclave's on that blue dragon. Gonna maybe pass on that rat familiar. It's on a bunch of garbage ice. <laughs> ice garbage. Yeah, into... 3-3. Three, three. Needs to catch up here to Kalaria, who's pushing pretty good now. Uh, shop check there for Kalaria. I didn't see what they grabbed. It looked like a deal and hearts. Autoclaves in that Shriner not wanting every anything. Laria going clubbing. But into 4 2. All claves onto that core rift. Did not find the throwing star, so I was going to have to do the full fight here. Looks like they missed uh, the up the middle there, too. So an even longer fight. 
There's a drumstick for Kalaria. That's a nice heal. In reserve, anyway. And into 4 3, just as Autoclaves gets the flawless victory on Coral Rift. Checking the. Uh, oh, oh, win Black Chest there. Interesting choice. Has the weapon. Maybe hoping for armor. That's a pretty low chance of that happening, though. Some more food for Kalaria, magic apple, and a bunch of cookies to go along with. And there's the food shop too, so here's a heartthrob for Kalaria. Or not. Yeah, it's fair. We can leave. <laughs> Got enough hearts. Autoclaves in the 4-2. There's all the hearts. I would just eat those cookies and get the heart throb. Oh, the clays went down. I see a diagonal armadillo. We'll check that out as Kalaria cleans up death metal there. Ooh, oh, that's rude. Oh, that's a rough death again for autoclaves. Diagonal armadillo to diagonal bounce trap. You think you're far enough away from it. It's where it's not a threat, but all of a sudden you're like dunked for a bunch of damage. And looks like Kalaria is going to finish this one up. The axe is really easy to use in zone 5, you just stand on the conduit and everything dies. And uh, unfortunate for autoclaves too, they were putting on the pressure there, it's starting to catch up. Laria checking one last shop here. Switching into slow play procedures. Dry baby. Probably not going to pick that up. That heart's not going to help you, but there you go. Into the dead ringer fight. It's the left side spawn. like we're doing lures again war lures uh, yep <laughs> get off the rails we'll get it back on here we go but we see the uh, war hit into the gong looks really good looks like we're not oh maybe oh attack up oh <laughs> attack up oh there it is <laughs> Almost had it. Smashing all those cookies before going into the Necrodancer fight. It's easy to remember when you're just commentating, not when you're racing. Knowyourbuilds.com tends to go down when uh, you start racing. Looks like Kalaria will get the second loot. One more hit on that Necrodancer. There it is. Kalaria gonna get it. Headed to the stairs. About 12 16 race time. GG's. Yeah, two unfortunate deaths for Autoclaves this time around. That uh, heart covered white, and now the uh, diagonal armadillo. We'll get one more race. Let's see if Autoclaves can sneak out one win here. Mm. 
And are there other races tonight? Where's the schedule? Yeah, there's one more race really uh, a bit later tonight, about three hours from now. Crate versus Gliok in Spiel. I'll be on Focusing Faces channel. An update on that other match going on right now. Ribbon Graph and SC2 are tied at one apiece. All right, countdown's on. Racer's getting ready for this final seat. Top check for autoclaves, crown of thorns in there. Quick reset for Kalaria, realizing they were going the wrong way. Gonna be a black chest up there. Some armor. Autoclaves is gonna find that as well. And Kalaria is gonna spend the time to get this barrel open. Ooh, it's ham. Ham in a barrel. Crack the wall here. My autoclave's not gonna open it. Maybe hoping for the dragon to get it open. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that though. Get a value bomb anyway. Or not. Okay. Yeah. See if Kalaria gets the value bomb. Nope, no, no value bombs. <laughs> and not the greatest of uh, blood shops here. Autoclaves just went and got the uh, snow bro. Kalaria gonna do the same. I mean, you could get the shovel too. I'm gonna go for the kill. There's always a chance it works. There's a secret shot. Oh, it's gonna work. Why are you getting all the items here? Autoclave saw a shrine of darkness. Ooh, Kalari is not gonna check the secret shop. There could be heavy plate up there. And uh, Autoclave's also getting a uh, quartz armor to go along with the build. Another quick shop after getting, uh, there's your heavy plate. After getting uh, that shrine is really nice to see for autoclaves and you can pretty much see why. Ooh, we got half a full house, right rat? Okay, autoclaves. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a talk about how the rat familiar goes in the up position, even if you have some, no, it's just my uh, rat dogma for you. Uh, <laughs> Looks like Kalari is trying to find where that shrine was that Autoclaves discovered. Digging around this one too. And there's a cracked wall here. Autoclaves not checking it. It's going straight into the death metal fight, your zone one boss. Pain ring grab for Kalaria though with uh, a cat. It's very good. It's a fun build. And there's the shrine, but now you're losing the ring of pain. No. No. Okay, gonna bomb the shrine and uh, get an infernal torch. There's the weapon upgrade for Autoclase. It's a glass longsword, probably not what they wanted to find. But it's for damage, just don't get hit. Gonna check the shop. Lead boots and titanium sword. Yeah, we'll switch to that. Didn't grab the monocle though. That was the monocle, right? A lot of uh, interesting decisions from both razors tonight. Like skipping stuff and not grabbing free stuff. And... Kalaria saw the heavy plate, but has no way to get the uh, shopkeeper aggroed. 
Auto play is into 2 2. Looking pretty comfortable on this build. I'd like to eventually get off the uh, ring. And there Calaria goes. Finding their own ring of shadows in the level. A lot of hits being taken over on Calaria's side, though. Down to a heart and a half. A lot of, there's ice here because a uh, frost charm went off. There's a gluttony charm for autoclaves plus uh, some headphones, so we're dishing out four damage now as long as we're keeping the beat. And Calaria finally on to death metal here. One for the gold kill! There it is. And they'll find a fireball in the purple chest. There's a bomb right by the exit for autoclaves. Hopefully we're picking that up. Yep. Coupon for Calaria. Very good. Another shop check for autoclaves. Still no ring. I mean, pickaxe, yeah, it's an upgrade. So it's good that Allclaves is checking these shops, because that's what you want to do when you can steal from them. But it is taking time to do that. And Claria is starting to catch up. Found the, found the headphones there. And King Kong is going to be your zone two boss for uh, autoclaves first. Can just pickaxe the throne. Snowbro should freeze the king. And we should be all right. Got to do, yeah, one buffer to the side. Oh, going to use a bomb. And get hit, so no check there. Kalari is down to half a heart. Into two, three. Another shop here for autoclaves. And I uh, got some under armor. Switching to titanium rapier though, that's a nice upgrade. And yeah, Kalaria getting stuck by that dirt golem. And now the dragon. Sometimes having uh, the reduced vision, though, for uh, your run can sometimes help because it's you, you can focus on a lot less than you would have to if you can see the entire floor. You kind of take a glance at your mini map to gather where the exit and shop is, and then you just kind of head in those directions and deal with the things as they come. Because it's, it's like uh, when you get the monocle, too, it's like you see this over here and you see that over there and you want to go do those things. But meanwhile, uh, your opponent's just going to the exits and catching up or something. A lot of hits there for autoclaves. Getting swarmed a bit. In zone 3, it's to be expected. Trying to make their way to the shop here. Find some cookies, so we'll get that health back. And a heal spell. Very nice. Kalari is going to find the purple potion in the red chest after the conga fight and is going to pop it. So not at half a heart anymore, but if we get hit, we're losing hearts now, permanently. Autoclaves into Deep Blue is your zone three boss. Should do lane three strats. Yep, there we are, setting up for it. Shop check for Kalaria. Gonna find uh, the rat familiar. And uh, putting it into the right position. Here's a. Uh, oh, it's, it's the food shop. I was gonna say, if it's the pawnbroker, we could sell the ring. 
can start to see what's going on. It's about the only time you want a pawnbroker. Maybe when you have uh, the glass jaw too, but otherwise not so much. And there's the good shovel for autoclaves. Cookies for Kalaria. We'll get those red hearts back. That's how you cure curses with cookies. <laughs> yes, they are gaming pros. <laughs> I mean, they're not, but I would do it differently. <laughs> Another shop check for autoclaves. A ring! It's ring of gold, but who cares? We can see now. It's like, uh... Those videos of, uh, colorblind people wearing those glasses where they can see color for the first time. <laughs> Swapping off them rings. Oh yeah, we got the uh, Freddy Familiar now. We're almost at a full house. Gotta find that Duff Charm. Kalaria into 4-1. All the <laughs> gonna check another shop? We might as well, it's right there, okay. <laughs> yeah, both racers have a build to go to the end. So really should just be pushing but staying alive is also a nice thing to do good gluttony use for Kalari there I was wondering why they're leaving everything in the shop there you go or rip your zone 4 boss shouldn't be a problem with autoclaves and welcome Biggie Mac and viewers coming in from that other match ribbon graph being defeated by SC2. 1-2. to two. Catching our third race of this match between Autoclaves and Kalaria. Autoclaves looking to take this last loot. Prevent the sweep. Pretty commanding lead over Kalaria. Is there into 5-2? Full health, heal spell. Three bombs for the Necrodancer fight. Looking pretty good. Just gotta get there. <laughs> oh, Clave's not using Snowbro efficiently there. <laughs> like, went to dodge around the dragon, but then still got dunked. The left side spawned for Dead Ringer, so, uh. Is Japanese strats. It's a just perfectly done, flawless victory. Larry making their way into 5 1. Should see Autoclaves get into phase 2 relatively quick here, though. Three bombs down the center lane. And gonna take that last hit, save the beat. And lures are generally easier after taking the Shrine of Darkness with that less aggro. Assuming you didn't pick up a torch. And this is looking like a pretty alright Necrodancer fight for Autoclaves. One more hit, and they'll get the final loot of this match. There it is, 1320 for autoclaves. GG, Kalaria into that Dead Ringer fight. We'll watch Kalaria finish out the seed. Doing the Japanese strat as well. Two riders though, very awkward. Handles it just fine though. Into that Necro Dancer fight. Oh, they got the Blood Drum. So they can Courage on in if they want. I don't know how many bombs they have, at least two. <laughs> yep, there's two. If only you could snow bro Necrodancer. You could like stack the freeze and then just six hit them off the stage.
One more hit. There you go, Kalaria finishing out the seed. GG's to both racers. As a reminder, the finals will be Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern and ELED Difficult's channel. Top eight racers will be invited to compete for that. There are a few more races yet to occur. I just posted the schedule in chat. There's another one yet tonight between Crate and Gliakenspiel over on Focusing Faces channel. And then the rest of the races will be tomorrow. My name's Tic Tac Foe. Hope everyone enjoyed the commentary. It's going to be it for me tonight. We'll find a raid target for you. And I'll see you tomorrow.